Firstly, I'm extremely delighted, extremely happy to be here. Yesterday, I was at an event called India Gadget Expo 2014. It was the first of its kind in India. We never had a gadget expo in the past. So it, it was the first of its kind. And today, in 24 hours, less than 24 hours, in fact, I'm at another summit, which apparently is also um, a first of its kind, the Indo-Global Healthcare Summit and Expo 2014. So extremely delighted and extremely happy that Hyderabad has hosted two national level events two, in two consecutive days. So that really goes to tell you that Hyderabad really is a city that is back on track and that is actually gaining a lot of momentum, be it uh, in hardware or be it in healthcare. So very, very good morning to all of you, people uh, from various parts of the globe, from a lot many different countries as well. Send you a very, very warm welcome to Hyderabad and to the state of the newly created state of Telangana, which is the 29th state of Indian Union. For those of you who are a little confused as to what this is all about, what Telangana is all about, all I would like to say is, India has merely reorganized itself and it has created a new state within the confines of Indian constitution for the betterment, for, the, for, the, for decentralizing power and for, in, for the betterment of its people. I'm delighted to inaugurate the first ever Indo-Global Healthcare Summit and Expo 2014, the first international conference on healthcare held after government is formed. In fact, the Honorable Chief Minister was supposed to be here as the Chief Guest. I'm merely substituting for him. He was preoccupied with something very, very important, therefore he could not make it. He sends his regrets and I'm merely here to substitute for him. I'm happy to proclaim that this healthcare, uh, uh, healthcare is one of my government's priorities to ensure for the state and the people of Telangana a better life and alleviation of the disease. I congratulate the Indus Foundation for taking this initiative through the Healthcare Summit and Expo 2014 towards ensuring proper health care. It is heartening and appreciable to note that Indus Foundation is felicitating eminent personalities in the healthcare field with lifetime achievement awards. My hearty congratulations to each and every one of those uh, winners uh, of the lifetime achievement award as well. My government is determined to revamp the public health sector in the Telangana region and we are aware that this is not an easy task. Our government's efforts are to ensure adequate faculty in all medical colleges and institutions. One of the activities that we would confirm is that efforts are on to get the Medical Council of India to renew the recognition of medical college in, district, in the district of Nizamabad, which was kept on hold due to inadequate facilities and infrastructure. This summit is scheduled at the right time because due to inadequate healthcare establishments in Telangana region, people living in some backward districts and interior areas of um, districts such as Warangal, Khamam and Adilabad travel around 200 kilometers to reach Hyderabad for treatment. Except in Hyderabad, there are not many better corporate hospitals in the entire region. So the opportunities are plenty for those who are looking for opportunities in the new state. There are plenty many opportunities in the healthcare arena. As you know, the development of public health sector is crucial as nearly 85% of the state's population depends on it. We would ensure that sufficient budget allocations are made to government hospitals and uh, government institutions as well. We also note that the status of other districts, particularly in our neighbors, neighboring state of coastal Andhra Pradesh, are much better in case of uh, both public, uh, public health care facilities. Also, I would discuss with the Honorable Health Minister to ensure that there is a bigger budget allocation for health care, which I think now is less than 2% of the state budget. I'm aware that certain governments allocate more than 10% of their budget towards health care. Our government would definitely set a target of at least doubling the current allocation to begin with. That would be a good start. And then eventually we can go to a state where there is a renewed effort. Having said that, our government needs, government needs all the support and cooperation from all stakeholders of healthcare. And I urge, I urge you all, through this podium, your support and cooperation going forward. Healthcare does not only depend on good hospitals, not only on good doctors and good uh, nursing staff, good allied services, but also depends indirectly on certain factors that my government has initiated and I want to reiterate them right here. As a minister in this uh, government, we have already announced that a super speciality hospital would be set up in each and every district of the new state of Telangana. These would be in the lines of a Nizam's Institute of Medical Sciences, which is extremely popular in Hyderabad, in the lines of All India Institute of Medical Sciences, which is an extremely popular institute 
uh, in our national capital, Delhi. Furthermore, the primary healthcare centers and the area hospitals in various constituencies across the length and breadth of Telangana, and also in the various taluka headquarters and the various mandal headquarters will be taken up on a high priority. In Telangana, the age-old Yunani hospitals were predominant under the Nizam Charitable Trust. Nilofa Hospital is one of the best examples of medical services from that era. So the Telangana government will definitely work in tandem with the central government to attain the goal of health for all by 2022. This has been envisaged for all levels of healthcare, primary, secondary and tertiary. People would be free to supplement these free of cost services offered under the national health program. Under this model, private players could choose to partake in the NHP through two ways. Either they may be allowed to participate in the government scheme unless they offer at least 75% of OPD or 50% of inpatient services listed in the package for which they would be reimbursed at the standardized rates. However, their services would remain under strict regulation. For the remaining services not part of the package, they may be allowed to accept payments or private insurance policies. On the slew of measures, as per uh, Srinath Reddy committee presents to finance the scheme, including include, include usage, using general taxation as the principal source, along with a surcharge earmarked uh, for healthcare only to be paid by salaried class and taxpayers, either as a proportion of their taxable income or salary. Further, it urges the government to increase public expenditure on health to 2.5% of the GDP by the end of 12th five-year plan and 3% by 2022 from the present level of 1.2 percent. Our government along with a special increment providing along with providing a special increment to all the Telangana government employees we've also promised to give them health cards to each and every one of them. That shows that the Telangana government is extremely committed towards promotion of uh, healthcare activities and incidentally the theme of this summit is also healthcare. We realize that the Telangana state contributes to one third of country's pharma pharmaceutical production. So the government would keep up this growth and boost it up. Further, our government wishes to promote a pharma city in days to come. We realize that the government obviously um, has to be a facilitator going forward as far as all healthcare initiatives are concerned. We know it for a fact that Hyderabad has several wonderful corporate hospitals which have offered great deal of services to the state of Telangana and to the city of Hyderabad. Going forward, the government would not only encourage more and more investments in private sector, but we are e equally keen to ensure that our public health care system is also beefed up so that the rural and the downtrod downtrodden of the state and of this country get the best health care facilities possible. We have already instructed our officials to complete um, the inadequacies as far as medical colleges infrastructure is concerned. Also, uh, with the issue of the medical college admissions this year, we have also ensured uh, that instructions have been given so that with the transition that is happening with the creation of a new state, the student community and the upcoming uh, young doctors are not affected in whatsoever fashion. We have also instructed the officials to have a dialogue with the association representatives of private college managements, private medical college managements on filling the leftover seats with the students of neighboring states as well. Well, health in Telangana, including Hyderabad, we have inherited good healthcare infrastructure like I have just mentioned. Growth of private and corporate sector in healthcare has been encouraged by the government in various ways. Earlier, the lack of government regulation on minimum standards had certainly um, worsened situations in some cases, especially to the poor sections of the population. So, therefore, one of the major tasks confronting the new state of Telangana is to substantially step up public expenditure on health services, especially primary health care. My government will be shouldering greater responsibility for providing primary health care. This government is determined to face these challenges with a planned approach of resolving the issues by identifying, planning and implementing formulated policies with time-bound targets. We need each and every one of your support to enable us to achieve this lofty goal. Let me just round off my um, remarks by saying a couple of things. Hyderabad, as I had just mentioned, is a fabulous city for any, any, any visitor, as you may have, uh, I, I, I see a lot of people from various parts of the globe. As you may have realized, it is one of the better cities in this country. We have a great growth potential. Hyderabad geographically is located in a very, very strategic location. In fact, not only is it bang in the middle of the country, but in the, in the country that is India, but also Hyderabad is located in a strategic location between Southeast Asia and the Middle East as well. So Hyderabad has a great potential to actually become the hub for medical tourism in the entire region. In fact, 
the sort of wonderful infrastructure that we have in the private sector and the sort of initiatives that uh, such as the Indo Global Summit uh, is initiating would definitely ensure that Hyderabad remains a top notch destination as far as healthcare is concerned. We have world class hospitals here, we have um, world class infrastructure here. Therefore, I, I urge you all going forward to also look at Hyderabad and look at India with a lot more intent and a lot more interest. The government of Telangana will certainly roll out a red carpet to anyone who is wanting to invest in healthcare because that's one of our primary, um, primary areas of concentration. We would be more than happy to assist in, in, in case if somebody is interested in um, taking this dialogue a step forward, further and in case the, somebody is actually interested in setting up specialized hospitals, we would be more than happy to um, have, an, have a dialogue offline or we can even take it uh, to another level by having a separate summit for whatever uh, uh, interest is generated here. We could definitely have another summit meeting along with our chief minister. But I guarantee you one thing, Hyderabad is a city that is poised for greater, greater and greater uh, achievements going forward. It's, it is going to be one of India's top-notch destinations, not just in information technology, not just in pharmaceutical uh, area, but also in healthcare going forward. So I, I urge you all, to all those who are present here, to look at Hyderabad as an attractive destination, and I'm happy to um, assist in any form or fashion going forward from here. So once again, I congratulate the organizers and to all the attendees from various parts of the globe. And I hope you have a wonderful stay in Hyderabad. And I hope you all have a great time in Hyderabad. Thank you very much. Jai Telangana and Jai Hind.